Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asi Pizetre and this is your favorite agribusiness platform on YouTube, Asco TV, the official YouTube channel for Asida House Commodities. Remember, Asida House Commodities is a mixed trading entity. Now, we have taken our time over the past 5 to 10 years to study the maize markets of Ghana and the maize trading trends. Now, should you need any information, should you need any inquiry on agribusiness, on maize trading in Ghana and should you be in need of maize I'm talking to agri I'm talking to uh, maize poultry farmers I'm talking to animal feed producers I'm talking to a company that produces alcoholic beverages like beer in Ghana that you need maize in large quantities we are the blog we talk to Ashko Aceda House Commodities is the blog we talk to Pick up our numbers, talk to us. We are in Teshimai or come to our offices in Teshimai and we'll meet and talk and supply you as many quantities of maize that you want. Right now, in today's video, since we have declared 2024 as a year of agribusiness, right, and you have developed this interest that you want to go into agribusiness, I think it is only right for me to give you some guidelines on how to be successful in agribusiness or how to be successful in the grain business, grain trading business or the specific maize trading business. Alright, so to get into the video proper, now just like any other business, just like any other business, agribusiness or maize trading business also require a little bit of research all right depending on how you see it i see it as a little bit of, bit of research because of my research background but you might see it as a lot of research any which way you need to do your research okay you need to know you know there are people who just feel like okay everybody is trading maize everybody is buying maize everybody is selling maize so let me just dump some money into it and just you know without knowing the ins and outs of this trade okay you need to do your research you need to do the right you need to know the right time to buy you need to know the right time to to um to sell you need to know what else you know you um how to even get these customers people to buy your stocks people to buy your grains all right how to get them even you even need to know the quality of or the standard of grains that your customers want right so research is very important in base trading just uh, just like any other um, business out there now the second thing you might be you have to look at is the processing and packaging of your goods okay now we are talking about grains here we are talking about maize okay and to an extent we are talking about beans also all right now you need to be able to process these things and package them very well okay for what we know already, for what you know, you and I are privy to. You go to the market. There's a lot of maize there. I mean, if you want to buy, people are buying, people are supplying anything, right? But you have to know that for for a commodity like maize, for a commodity like maize, you can't just supply any maize, any type of maize. Okay. This is because if we take huge bias, huge bias of uh, maize like uh, poultry feed, uh, poultry feed producers, poultry farmers and these um, beverage production companies, they have specifications, they have a level of moisture that they need the, um, the, the grain or the maize to be, alright, some need it 11%, some need it 12%, some need 12.5-13% moisture content. Some need a certain level of waste reduction. Some need a certain level of coloring. Now, how do you achieve all these standards and specifications? Right? You, this is the type of you know, processing that you have to do to your maze. Alright? To be able to meet, to be able to get access to these kind of customers. Because believe you me, they are the big buyers. Everybody know that they are the big buyers. So 
you need to process your maize very well. If you get in touch with Ashco factories, we are going to be able, we are going to, I mean, dry your maize. We are going to be, we are going to be um, packaging it very well for you to be able to supply and have no problem. If you, if, even if it is not Ashco, look for a maize drying factory where they are going to dry your maize when you get it fresh from the farms. They are going to dry it and make sure that they keep these specifications intact so that you'll be able to do what to um, get the best quality to be the standard of your customers right okay and then the packaging right a lot of these you know there's a standard for for supply of this green meat to be specific okay there is this we have the 50 kg sack which is mostly you know acceptable and it's, it's more like a standard all right all these are part of the packaging and processing of your maize that you need to take into consideration now the third thing that you have to look you have to take care of is your marketing now that you have your product you have your product you have processed it you have packaged it very well how do you get access to these customers how do you deal with your market okay at this point you need to be able to have access to information that will lead you to the best buyers out there now this one too when you consult ashko you're going to get this information but basically it will have to do with you going to you know this uh, poultry farmers this animal feed producers even this export is there people who export means all right and even the market if your target market is the market if your target market for your maize is the open market then you have to go and talk to the market women or the people who deal with maize in the in the uh, in the big cities like Accra, Kumasi, Takradi you understand because this this place these are places where production of maize is uh, very small right so when you get your your goods in the human here from Ashko or you get it by yourself fine it's all it's all good you have to be able to, you know, move to these specific people, poultry farmers, animal feed producers, exporters. Okay, you look at them and then you hit them um, with your with your proposals, with, with your pricing and things. Okay, and when you get your market, you, you get your marketers, and even before you get your marketers, maybe this is something that I have skipped, but it is also in line your pricing you have to be able to be competitive with your pricing because believe you me you're not going to be the only person going, who is going to supply even though your goods will be sold i say your goods if you get stocks if you get new stocks it will be sold because the users the consumers of these products they are a lot okay it will be sold but how fast will it be sold and how are you going to um sell it and, and keep your business going okay so you need to be competitive with your price all right which is part of the research that you should be doing from the beginning to know that okay this is what is the price that is being supplied as there are people that when they when they speak with um, a customer and the customer say i want to i can only buy the goods at a and later come and say um I I can't afford that price anymore. So uh, unless you reduce your price a little, the people get uh, feel like okay, the customer is trying to play them, and then they they, they, they fall off or they back off. No, it shouldn't be the case. It is, this is business, right? If you if your customer says now I cannot buy at this price, you look at the new price that he's giving, right? And then and you get you look at it in such a way that okay so this this new, new price is it going to help me is it going to help me if to make enough profit to be able to you know restock if it is okay you just take it and move on and let the customer also know that okay i am doing this reduction because of a b and c all right because of what a b and c it would, because of these reasons that's what i mean by a b and c so in the near future, if this price is not is not helping me, I'm also going to propose a new price. And then you have to, you have to you know have that rapport, okay, 
have that communication okay which will lead us to our next point is uh, which is communication um, and customer relations all right communication and customer relations like i said sometimes customers are going to you know um they there's a saying in business that customers are always right and it's it's true it's true because customers are the fuel of your business they're going to be the fuel of your business all right so you have to know how to deal with them how to communicate with them it is very important now the the last point that i'm giving you which is very important is to be consistent is to be what consistent consistency is very important in in email trading because let's look at the users of this maze the users of this problem we're talking about poultry farms we're talking about animal feed releases which means we are looking at food for i mean poultry beds for fish for piggery and for a lot of animals and we know that for these animals they always have to eat okay which means that if we get if we're able to um, get a customer it's likely a customer and you know you are able to be um, you have good quality goods you have good quality goods you present your goods and package them very well you have a good pricing you can be able to market yourself very well you have a competitive pricing it's very very likely that your customer will want to buy from you all the time which means that you, your customer will need grains from you all the time all right now how do you how how do you maintain this relationship with this customer this business relationship with this customer you always have to have stocks available which is the consistency i'm talking about so when because as soon as the customer this type of customers call you means they need brains because if they don't get if they don't get brains it means they are their investment is going bad if the birds don't eat they won't leave if the birds don't eat they, they might even die for a day if they don't eat for a day they might die they might be mortality so the, this customer the customer who needs who is uh, who needs maize will always require that you are consistent with your supply all right so these are um six things i think yeah six things that um i feel like if you take care of these you're going to be successful very successful in your mystery game. get into it and let's share the good stories next year right now or in time all right thank you very much my name is yawa simply and as you know already ashko asira house commodities is your number one source of information in agribusiness in ghana right and this is your number one source of quality maize grains in ghana no matter the quantity that you want pick up our animals talk to best let's settle this right so if you're new here please subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of information like the video comment drop your comment and share it share the video to others who might be in need of it all right until we meet in the next one it's bye bye for now